Welcome super smarties. It's super teacher here with your tip of the day. So everyone took home colored folders and that was great. And everyone took home packets that were stapled together and that was great. And they went into the colored folders so you'd know when to use them. And that was great. But then we took them out of the colored folders and if you didn't put them right back into the colored folder that you took them out of, you couldn't maybe remember which one they went back into. And that was not great. So here's a little solution. What I'd like you to do is take each colored folder. So we'll start with green. So here's my green folder. And here are the contents of the green folder. There were only two packets in it. So I take out my two packets. And then what I'm going to do is Find a crayon that correlates, that's exactly the same color. It doesn't have to be exactly the same shade because I'm using my son's crayons because there's so many, they're so beautiful. And this is green. It's probably gonna come up kind of yellow on the paper, but it's still, it's green. And this one is green. And this one is green. So in my like a hundred crayons in the box, there were three different shades of green. Doesn't really matter which one I use. Now, if you're using school crayons, there are only eight crayons in there and there's only one shade of green, which makes it very easy. So you can use your school crayons and easily code them. The problem is we have a pink folder and we have no pink crayon. So if you have another kind of set of crayons, you can totally use those. So I'm going, to take, I'm going to take my contents, my packets. I don't want to unstaple them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a color band across the bottom of each page. That way, if it falls out or if I accidentally remove it from the staple, I'll know which packet it goes back into. And it's just like that. You know, that didn't come out very green. I don't really like that green. It looks kind of blue. So I'm going to try this one. Oh, oh that's a much better shade. It doesn't even matter because I'm not doing anything with this except telling my brain to remember that it goes in the green folder. And I'm just gonna just scribble a little band, a color band across the bottom. And this is not something a big person needs to do. This is fine motor skills that every kindergartner can do all by themselves. So for an asynchronous assignment, what I want you to do today is you are going to run a color strand across the front of every packet. And then take a little bit of time and keep adding color bands across every single page of the packet. Now don't scribble over all the work because that will make it inaccessible. It'll be too hard to work on it later if you've scribbled. That's what a two-year-old would do. And there are no two-year-old babies in kindergarten. So we're just gonna put a color band across the bottom. And you can do all your papers all by yourself. This is just a kind of a fun breathe and relax activity. And you can do it with every packet today on the first page. And then tomorrow, turn the page. The next day, turn the page. The next day, turn the page. Maybe on the weekend, you take out a whole packet and you just keep flipping the pages until you get them all color-coded. This will help you stay more organized. And the great thing is, it'll let you be independent. Independent means you can do it by yourself without the help of anyone who's bigger than you. You are big enough to hold a crayon and you are big enough to color a color band and you are big enough to sort by color. <sighs> you don't need the big people for this. Now, if a big person wants to hang out with you and join you, that's great, but this is really work you can do all by your five or six year old self. And don't just do the green. Here I have the purple. I wanna make sure that I color band the purple. Now, if, and the yellow and the blue and the orange. Now you don't have your orange papers maybe yet, but once they come, color band them too. Now for the pink, we don't have pink crayon in our box, but we're not going to have a brown folder. So if you wanna just run a brown line across it, you may. And if you have a pink crayon, you may just use a pink crayon. And sometimes if you go like Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, it's easy to find a pack of crayons for like 99 cents or a dollar and they probably have a pink but those crayons aren't nice waxy crayons they don't color as evenly when you're making a beautiful page so they'll probably be fine for a color band but maybe not the crayon that you want to do when you're doing neat and sweet and totally complete work all right so that's my tip of the day
I'll see you on another video, and until then, go for the green zone. Regulated, ready to learn. All right, super teacher.